This is the story of a man who stuck his head in a particle reactor. Employed at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protivino, Russia, Anatoly Petrovich Bogorsky was doing his shift at the U-70 synchrotron particle accelerator when some of its equipment malfunctioned on July 13, 1978. The failure of multiple safety measures led to the absurd incident that ensued. Bogorsky stuck his head into the operational particle accelerator, exposing his brain to a 76 giga electron volt proton beam. The Centers for Disease Control asserts that exposure to 120 rads of absorbed radiation may lead to death in some individuals, though the dose generally agreed upon is LD50, causing 50% of individuals to die at 400 rads. There's only a handful of rare cases in which exposure to 1,000 rads or more has not been fatal. When Bogorsky stuck his head into the particle accelerator, he exposed himself to more than 200,000 rads. And he lived. In fact, there's no record of his death, leading many to believe that he might be alive still. As of today, he would be about 82 years old, but he didn't escape the incident intact. Being the only human alive known to have stuck his head into a running particle accelerator, Bogorsky was studied extensively in the years that followed his incident. Bogorsky, having some recollection of the accident, said he saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam burned through his skull and brain tissue, leaving vast damage to his occipital and temporal lobes. Though having little to no reported impact on Bogorsky's intellect, he did earn himself a PhD following the incident, and he said he feels mentally fatigued more easily now. The incident paralyzed the left half of Bogorsky's face for two years and made him deaf in the left ear. Bogorsky is now prone to seizures. Intriguingly, the left half of his face has shown little signs of aging after the accident. So what are the implications of this incident to aging research? It is a popular theory among biologists that part of the reason why people age is the damage our bodies absorb over decades from background radiation. With this in mind, what mechanism exactly? was responsible for stopping the effects of aging on a man's face after he received a dose of radiation hundreds of times more than that which is considered lethal? There's little information about the state of Bogorsky nowadays. Is he alive? Is he even doing alright? Bogorsky may have been studied extensively, but at the end of the day, the tale of the man who stuck his head in a particle accelerator leaves us with a few more questions than we have answers.